Johnny Cueto returned from his latest DL stint Sunday and got back to doing Johnny Cueto things. Six innings, one run, lowering his ERA to 208, pushing his whip even further south of one. Unfortunately, he's not going to be this good much longer. Cueto is currently benefiting from a microscopic 189 batting average of balls in play, and his 87% strand rate, unsustainable. He still has the goods to be a borderline top 20 pitcher, but top 10? Not so much. And if Cueto's due for some regression, Yoli Chassin's heading the other way. Even after dropping his ERA down to 426 with a quality two earned run, eight and two thirds outing against the Phillies, his expected ERA is still over a full run lower, and he's probably just floating on the waiver wire in your league. So go scoop him up. One more pitcher to check out is the Indians' Corey Kluber. He's now tossed back-to-back -back eight inning gems and provided quality starts in five of his last six turns. And he's no fluke. The advanced stats vouch for him. He's striking out nearly a batter an inning. And the best part? He's still criminally underowned. Gotta go pick him up. Chase Utley should be back by the end of the week from his oblique strain. He took batting practice over the weekend and just needs a few rehab starts before returning. Alex Cobb took a liner off the head over the weekend and thankfully was released from hospital. But he won't travel with the team on the Rays' next road trip, and you shouldn't expect him back before the All-Star break. <laughs> Anibal Sanchez left after just three and two-thirds in his second straight uneffective outing. Jim Leland said he's concerned about Sanchez's recent bout of shoulder stiffness. Me too. <laughs> and Mark Teixeira's MRI revealed nothing but inflammation in his wrist. Whew. DM Dice from the internet asks, Do you Votto and Beachy for Verlander and Billy Butler? I have Freeman and a deep but aceless staff. Okay, this is a great example of assessing a trade based on team needs and not in a vacuum. Normally I hate giving up the best player in the deal, but you need a hurler to carry your staff and Verlander's that guy. And Butler will do a pretty respectable job covering for the loss of Votto's numbers. But the way you need to look at it is that Beachy might be a write-off this season. He's already behind schedule in his rehab starts, and as we've seen with all these Tommy John guys, there's about a six week grace period before they get all their velocity and command back. So this trade's essentially a two for one, and you gotta make it. The Rays will finally call up super prospect Will Myers for Tuesday's doubleheader, and the move is to go pick him up. But as I preach with all these rookies, let them have a few good games and try to flip them for a more established player. 90% of rookie hitters struggle the first time around the league, and this is a way you can improve your team for little to no cost. For Roto Experts, I'm Pat Mayo.